Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, he called his people and he said, Look, look. He says, I tell you not to worry. Chapter 12, verse 22 onwards. What are we to eat? What about your body? What are we to wear? For life is more than food. Once the food is given to you, the body begins to look for something else. The life is more than food and the body more than clothing. The body looks for clothing. But once you are clothing, you realize there are forces who are running behind you to make you naked, to make you sh to do shameful things. Your master, he will be after you to clothe you. But there are forces who want to make you naked, who wanted to make you nothing, to be ashamed. When they lost, when they were caught up in sin, they were feeling ashamed of themselves because they realized they are without clothes. While we think the need of man is food, clothing, no, there is, once you receive that, there is someone who is after you to make your life something else. And you do not know what's happening to you. You do not know what's happening in your mind. And you are being tied up. That's why Jesus said, look, your, your life is more than food and your body is more than clothing. There is craving in body. Who will love me? Who will care for me? Who will appreciate me? Who will tell that I am great? A kind of identity crisis. Man becomes, even if he gets married, once upon a time, he looked for the body of the woman, body of the man. Now says, will you appreciate me? Will you stand by me? Will you keep quiet with all the nonsense I do? Man says, try to dominate. The needs of man become complicated. Sometimes man doesn't know why he gets angry. He doesn't know why he gets shouting at the people. He doesn't know what's wrong with him. Suddenly a kind of fear comes. Suddenly a kind of anxiety comes. Suddenly a kind of worries come. We do not know what's happening. Suddenly in the body some kind of boils come. Suddenly some disturbances come. Not able to handle the tensions. Man doesn't know. Because man doesn't move out of his body. Man doesn't move out of his mind. Man doesn't move out of the world in which he lives. But our life is more than this body. Our life is our existence beyond this world. Unless man comes to realize that I am much more than my existence on this body. My life is much more than the food that I need, the cloth that I need. That's why in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 17, verse 25, the master said, Nor does his worship depend on anything made by human hands, as if were his need. Rather, it is he who gives life and breath and everything else to everyone. Man thinks he can serve God by his human hands. He says in verse 28, man doesn't realize that we live in him. We have our being in him. Yes. We have our offspring through him. Verse 30, he says, But now God looks mankind and says, God prefers to overlook this time of the ignorance of man, thinking life is only all that about this world. What to eat, what to drink, who will appreciate to build up what I have built up. Who will build up, make me great? 
name, fame, lust becomes the everyday need of man. And man thinks that's all his life is all about. But time comes. When a time comes, he realizes all that he needed is fulfilled. There is empty within. It is there the voice of God is heard. God prefers to overlook this time of ignorance. In ignorance, you have done many things. You have done, you have went up against your own self somewhere else. But now he calls on all people to change their ways. To return back to him the root of his life where he can continue to be nourished where he can continue to be guided, where he can continue to find meaning and depth for his life. That's why in Luke's Gospel, chapter 12, verse 15, he speaks to us, he says like this, Be on your God. Be on your God. And avoid every kind and of greed. avoid every kind of greed. For even though for even though you have many possessions, you have many possessions, and you are mad after, and you are success succeeded in possessing many possessions. It is possession not, not that only merely money. Possession need not be only friendship. Possession need not be the best cell phones. Possession need not be that you lose job and sleep and sleep. No, he says, be on your guard and avoid every kind of greed for even though you have many possessions. It is not that which gives you life. It is not that which gives you life. He gives a beautiful parable. There was a stupid fellow who who received the worldly blessing for him. God had blessed him with the worldly blessing. He got a good crop and he had everything that he needed. And instead of looking at the one who gave him everything, his mind and heart was captured with the things of this world, the riches of this world. And he said, my house is small. I will break this house. Good. To safeguard what God gave you. But the foolish thing he said is. He said to his soul. Oh soul. Be happy. Be happy. For the food that is there. For many days. Is available for you. He said. Rest. Eat. And drink yourself. In verse 20 it is written, God gave him a great name for that fellow. You know, who worked hard and yearned, he sweated, he struggled hard and yearned and carefully as a wise man, he gathered the things of this earth and God called him. What the great name God gave him? You fool. You fool. Do you know Jesus talks about the language of fool? It is soft in this translation. Some translations are stupid. You stupid. God calls man. You are a fool. Because you know the need of your body. But your body is not going to be with you. Some time ago, I saw a man, literally I saw a man having wonderful dress of Raymond cotton suit, but on the side it was torn. I asked him, I recognized him that he is working in Narayan Huda Cemetery, the other side, Protestant Cemetery. I recognized him. He used to come to Muttangi. I asked him, what's wrong? What's, who are you? Nice suit you are wearing, man. But, and you are coming for marriage, but it is torn here. He told me, Father, don't tell anybody. What is that? For one fellow, they buried wonderful cotton suit. 
people are going on coming 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 till 10 o'clock 12 o'clock luckily we kept a stone and few bricks that's all till 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock i thought now nobody will come we removed it with a friend removed the coat and so don't tell anybody fat i'm wearing that pulling the needle it got stuck up while you are in the till you go to grave at only cotton suit afterwards even with common nobody will bother you you have only a cloth inside or without cloth nobody will bother you your cloth your food can reach you only a particular place afterwards who are you you are more than a body you are a soul that's why jesus said man's life is much more than he said that was beautiful verse in verse 15 human life is human life is be on your guard and avoid all kinds of every kind of greed